Hey, holy friends, I would like to share uh, a little kavana that I think can be beautiful for uh, prayer, for the tefillah, uh, just before the Shmon Esre. Um, and the, the idea is how to understand that whole section of uh, Emes Ve'yatsiv, just, just before Shmon Esre, that whole section, that one bracha, it's one bracha. Um, and basically, this is the way um, we can use it. So the Rabbi Sh uh, Shimon Schwab says in his book that before that Emet Yatsiv um, is connected to the Parochet, Paroches the curtain before entering into the Kedosh HaKedoshim. Um, first of all, he says that there, there were two paroches um, in the, uh, I believe in the time of um, Shlomo HaMelech. So, for us, the Shlomo HaMelech, or, the, for us, why he says that. Uh, in the second Besa Migdash, sorry. In the second Besa Migdash, there were two paroches, as it says in Yoma, 51b. And Emes Yassiv is split into two, the first section till Ezra Sawoseinu, and then from Ezra Sawoseinu until the Gal Israel. So the two paroches, when we go um, into Shmon Esre, we're imagining we're literally uh, at that point when we read this, crossing, walking like the Kohen Gadol um, between the two Paroches to enter the Kedosh HaKedoshim. And as we know, Shmon Esre is like the Kedosh HaKedoshim. Um, the Kedosh HaKedoshim is also um, called the bedroom. Um, we are, it's the moment of tremendous intimacy. In Kabbalah, they call it Zivug. Um, it's a moment of deep, intimate connection. Uh, with the creator of the universe. And uh, something came to my attention because it says like that. So Rashi Shimon Schwab says that uh, the similar of the paroches is alluded to in this tefillah by the fact, meaning MS Vyatsiv, by the fact that the word MS appears six times. This corresponds to the halacha that every strand of each of the four types of material used in the paroches had to be composed of six twisted strings of its type. Furthermore, all four types of these six-fold strands had to be combined to form each completed thread. Like it says in Yoma 71b. So, it says like that. And corresponding to the 24 strings in each completed thread, which went into the weaving of the paroches, the Mesadre Hatfila composed 24 sentences from MS Yatsiv through Gal Israel. Um, he, he points out, upon counting them, you may not arrive at, the, at this total because the printers have placed the periods ending each sentence in the wrong places. But if you study it carefully, you will see that it's really corresponds to 24 sentences. Now, so... Beside the Kavanah that we said, we're entering into the Kedosh Kedoshim to meet Hashem. I would like to bring a connection to that from what the Balatrum says in Bereshis uh, Beis, Beis Chavbet 2.22. Uh, chapter 2, verse 22, he says that, um, it says like that, Vayven Hashem Elokim et Hatzela asher lakach min ha'adam le'isha vayveha el ha'adam. So, then Hashem God fashioned or built the side that he had taken from the man into a woman and he brought her to the man. So speaking about the creation of Chava and the, the and Hashem bringing Chava to Adam and the Balaturim says Vayaviyeha says like that this word is spelled defectively. It says Vayveha, Vayveha, not Vayveha. Uh, 
Ah, oh. I think they. Let me see. Uh... Oh, okay. They so they made a mistake in English. Remez. Um... You should say vehevi ah lo. Okay, so that's why you should say. So why is that mistake? Um, the word vehevi like it says here, is gematria twenty four. This is an allusion to the sages' statement statement that God first bedecked Chava Eve Isha with the twenty four ornaments customary worn by a bride. Then he brought her to him. So, the 24 uh, ornaments for those who are looking for is in Isaiah uh, yeah, Isaiah 3, chapter 3, verse 20, 18 to 24. So, the, the beautiful uh, thing here is that basically we are almost reenacting one of the covenant we can have is us putting on our jewelry, the 24 jewelry, or just like the Queen Gadol, right? Um, oh, actually, it doesn't say here. It doesn't say here, but we know that the Queen Gadol also had 24 um, Ornaments, if I remember correctly, um, but the Quenga also had twenty-four ornaments that 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 he had. Um, I, I think it's Pirkei Avot. I forgot. I will have to find, check that. I'll put it in the notes. But basically, um, twenty-four um, things that are beautiful and. Basically, uh, we are like the bride entering into the Kodesh Koreshim. We are bringing ourselves as if we are Eve marrying Adam, as if we have, we have the Eve of Hashem coming to meet with Hashem. Uh, so it's, it connects to what we said at the beginning about entering the bedroom. We are Hashem's Eve. We come in front of Hashem as Hashem's Zivug, as Hashem's... Kala, um, and we come with all the beautiful jewelry that we have. What are the beautiful jewelries? Is the jewelries of of what whatever we we feel and understand about Hashem. Every time I have a beautiful thought of Hashem, that Hashem is so kind, he's so rachamim, he's so uh, 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 you have the thirteen. When I, the Hashem, Hashem, Kel, Rachum, Mechanun, 13 attributes of faith, all those things of Rachim, mean, sorry. Each time we recognize and we integrate those thoughts and emotion in us and we feel it and we recognize it, it's like we put uh, an ornament and all those are, are in the Shema, they're hidden in the Shema. And we, being in touch with that, living it, feeling it, transformed us into a bride and prepare prepares us to enter into the chupa, to enter into the Yichud room, to enter into the Shmon Esre. So this is what I wanted to share with you and um, hope it will enhance your tefillah. Sorry, it was not as smooth as uh, I wanted, but I think we got uh, the message still came out pretty okay.